Right, we're here with T. Logan Fleck after Stetson's victory over Florida Gulf Coast on Saturday. Coach, just talk to us what the team's feeling right now after this big win over the league leading league leading team. Well, uh, you could see uh, while you were doing the intro, I was smiling. And in how many times has that happened in uh, this year here? They absolutely played a fantastic game tonight. And we worked very hard. I mean, it was absolutely a great senior night. And all of the seniors participated in it. And uh, that was a well hard fought match. Florida Golf Coast is leading the league and deservedly so. But tonight we made them play a little bit our style. And we took uh, some risk and we got some goals talk about making them play your style and, and what it was like out there. Very chippy, very aggressive on both teams. Talk about the environment that this team had to go through. Playing. It, it, it was like uh, it was like an A-Sun championship game. I, I got to tell you, you know, the, all the freshmen didn't know, but all the older players were like, guys, this is what it's like. You know, you're at ETSU or you're playing away from home at Mercer. Uh, you know, you got to fight and battle. Every game, it doesn't matter what the record, doesn't matter. And uh, especially against a team that's coming in as number one. So our guys, I think we're, we're ready for that. We set the tone. Uh, we got some good tackles in there. Uh, they started to get a little chippy because they didn't get things the way they wanted them to be. And then we actually played very good on quick counters. And I thought that uh, our chances today were very good. You know, we had more chances to put in solid goals. It wasn't just like one or two. We had about six or seven that I thought, you know what, we could have put those away. So uh, we pushed the line a little high in the defense and that puts a little more pressure on Andy. But and he, uh, you know, responded like the uh, the champion that he is. That he made a great save to keep us uh, winning that game. Slow start to the season. A lot of newcomers. Took mm -hmm. a little while for the team maybe to gel. Talk about the last two weekends and how the team has really come together and get these two wins. Well, I got to make sure. Also, we 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 did start to do a few things different. We did push Chase Rogers into the midfield as a full midfielder. Uh, we did push Stevie Ceballos up further closer to goal so he could get us some more opportunities which guys started to step in the young freshman uh, Travis uh, Workman has worked himself into the starting lineup so a lot of guys it's just kind of finding that right chemistry the guys are working hard but uh, today I was very very proud Rafa Santafanti kept a guy that's uh, used to getting a lot more shots on goal he kept him at bay and then was actually the guy who was serving balls in so uh, we had a lot from every player tonight and that's what made it great as a team we started to blend a little bit I think we started blending actually quite frankly against Mercer uh, and we were doing it in some games uh, early in the season but coming up shy of USF uh, by one goal you know fighting like crazy against UCF uh, tying JMU we saw little signs but we didn't have the consistency of 90 minutes tonight we saw a total team 90 minutes anyone who came off the bench came in to make an impact and that was very good to see great team effort all around but talk about JJ Bostic's final goal there to get the game winner well, <clears throat> for sure, you know, being a senior, I, I will get to that. But the one that Dwight, uh, you know, I, I have to say it, otherwise I'll be remiss and will probably beat me up at practice. But the one where he hit it off the post and then followed it up and finished it with his left foot, uh, kudos to him. But uh, J.J. Bostic was in that box tonight to win that game. And he absolutely made timed runs. Uh, he absolutely got up at the right time and then just made great contact on a great service and then put it away. And that's exactly what we have to have and uh, for us to be a successful team. He's a, a kid we count on, as in last year or whatever, critical times. They give us corner kicks. They give us free kicks. They give us something. We're going to make sure he gets up and gets a chance to win the game for us, as he did tonight. Finally, talk about going into this last weekend, a couple of road games, and what the team's going to need to do to finish out the regular season. Win. When, you know, every game we've gone into, we talked a little bit about it. Uh, we didn't focus too much on it, but guys, we have three games left, and it's a, a matter at the end of the year. You count the points, you see who's in and who's out. And we want to make sure that these seniors get the best opportunity to get in the tournament. We think we're playing better now. Uh, we do think that we're starting to find our stride, uh, and guys are stepping in and doing well. So we really want to fight hard and concentrate on just the next game, which will be North Florida, and uh, make sure that we get as maximum points we can playing away from home. Thank you.